Hey what's up guys, my name is Better. back to the channel, go back to another Duel Links video. Well, not really, today we're back with an IRL pack opening. So today the Legendary Collection Kaiba came out and uh, I've been really looking forward to this set. It's got a ton of really cool reprints, you can get things like Ash Blossom in it, which is a really powerful hand trap, uh, Raigeki, and just a ton of blue eye support cards and a ton of anime cards, so I'm really looking forward to getting into that. But before we get into that, we have two packs of a Legendary Duelist's Ancient Malame to open now. This set has a ton of really cool cards in it. Basically, Pegasus, Bandit Keith, uh, Weevil, all got new cards. Uh, Jesse got new cards, Chaz got new cards, and Crowler got new cards in this set. So let's see if we can open these and pull something decent from these packs. Now, again, like last time, I apologize if the audio is completely shit, uh, but uh, I'm doing the best I can with the limited setup and if I can actually open the pack, I can. We actually uh, managed to get a relinquished, which you know is a very classic Duel Links card. I need to work out how I'm gonna do this. There we go. Very classic Duel Links card in relinquished. Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem, that's weird to see as a common. Black Illusion Ritual, so we can actually summon the relinquished. Worm Bay, that's a pretty powerful card. I don't think that's in Duel Links yet, but it'd be kind of cool if it does come. And Corrosive Scales, which is one of the newer cards for Weevil. Uh, which helps out insect monsters, so that's pretty cool. Uh, nothing too good from that pack there. Let's move on to the second Legendary Duelist pack and see uh, see if we can pull something decent. So, we have Crowler's Ancient Gear Golem. De very nice card. Pinch Hopper, another card that Weevil uses. Relinquished again. We pull Hollow. We didn't. Okay. We got Rainbow Dragon. That's uh, that's always cool. It uh, doesn't look very nice as a common, but we'll live. And Illusionist Faces Magicians. So this is a retrain of Illusion Faces Mage, I believe it is, from the original Pegasus Star deck. So that's pretty cool. We pulled pretty trash, but uh, we got some classic Duel Links cards, so uh, that's pretty cool. But now on to the main thing. Legendary Collection Kyber now. If I flip this over real quick. This thing comes with three uh, Mega Packs. Has uh, four secret rares and six ultras in each, five new ultra rare variant cards, and a game board. There's also a nice Duel Links advert right there. So I'm going to open this uh, off screen real quick and uh, then we'll get right into it. Okay, so finally we have the Legendary Collection Kaiba opened and let's see what it is like on the inside of this. Jeez, nothing wants to open today. Nothing really wants to open, apparently. Okay, there we go. We have the game board, and this is pretty much like a full-size, or like it's like a half-size playmat. Uh, on one side, you have uh, some of the new artwork for Castle like Loop of Destruction, Goddess of Revenge, and uh, King of D. And okay, so we're back with the uh, with the mega packs. My camera died, unfortunately. We have our three packs, as well as the promo packs. I'm just gonna get these out of the box real quick. I'm gonna move the box over to the side. So we can indulge in the gloriousness of this set of Kaiba and take a look at some of these promos. So we guarantee the same promos in every box, but all these promos can come as secret rares in the actual set. So first we have Goddess of Sweet Revenge, which is a nice hand trap, uh, pretty uh, circumstantial, I guess. It, it, it is a hard card to pull off, I think. Uh, probably won't see much play in real life. The King of D, I think, is going to see some play in Blue Eyes decks. It's a Okay, so apparently my camera wanted to die again, but we'll just going through the promos quickly. We have Goddess of Sweet Revenge, the King of D, which is some really nice blue eyes support, Dragon Revival Rhapsody, again, another nice blue eyes card, Destruction Dragon, which is a new form of Ring of Destruction, uh, of the Fang of Critias plus Ring of Destruction, sorry, and finally Loop of Destruction, which is a new form of Ring of Destruction, which is also treated as Ring of Destruction, so it can be used for Destruction Dragon. Now, you may have noticed a difference in quality, uh, I had to cut it back to 1080p because 4k was being an idiot and saying my storage was full, but now we have three Kyber Collection booster packs. Now, I'm going to pull trash. We already pulled trash in our Duelist pack, uh, Legendary Duelists, so let's just get it over with and see what we can pull. If we pull, uh, I don't know what I consider to be good, to be fair, like, there's some stuff in this that I want, but I'm not going to be too, you know, bummed if I don't get anything decent. So we have Spell Reproduction, That's I haven't seen that card in a very long time. 
Giant Red Sea Snake, you know the opening's going good when you pull all the vanillas. Fusion Sage, a nice Ultra Rare from Duel Links. Ride of the Storm Winds, that looks really nice as an Ultra Rare as well. Thunder Dragon, that also looks... All these look really nice actually as Ultra Rares. Full Force Virus, I think the Secret looks better, I run a Secret in my Dark Magician deck. And then for our Secret Rares we have anti Raigeki. that looks kind of cool. Beacon of White, which we've seen in Duel before, that is a really nice card. Return of the Dragon Laws, that's also really nice. And Call of the Graves, we've got some of the some of the worst uh, secrets you can get there. The, in my opinion, the tournament pack stuff is uh, some of the worst secrets you can get. Going to go on to the right pack and see if we can redeem ourselves. Like, I'm not expecting to pull an Ash Blossom. I'm expecting to pull a complete trash out of all these packs. So, you know, not high hopes. X Head Cannon, that looks cool as an ultra rare. Legend the Mystical Gene, we're pulling all the vanillas. Master with Eyes of Blue. Droll and Lockbird, okay. That's good. That's a nice hand trap. I will, I will happily take that. It is a nice card to get. Vampire Lord. Soul Exchange as a UR, that's really nice. Priestess of Eyes of Blue looks really cool as a secret. Sage of Eyes of Blue, nice. Oh, thank god. This is one of the ones I really wanted, Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. It's not the most expensive card in the set, it's pretty cheap I think, but just this card as a secret rare looks so nice, I don't know, the video isn't going to do it justice, it's just such a cool card, and finally Dragon Shrine, so that that pack was definitely a lot better than the, uh, than, than the first one, I'm going to put the, uh, the draw to the side over here, because that's definitely the best ultra we've pulled so far from this set, and finally moving on to the last mega pack. See if we can pull something good. Shrink, heavy mech support platform, Mikazuki no Yaiba, I believe that's how you say it. Again, another vanilla. Blue Eyes White Dragon, the worst artwork for the tablet artwork. Oh my god. Crush card virus, and I believe our last ultra rare is Ring of Destruction, so a very classic Kaiba card. We did get Beals though. Beals is the very nice secret rare to get. That's that's cool. Enemy control. Another secret I wanted, enemy controller, that's another really nice, that looks, re that looks really cool, I mean the glare from my phone is uh, killing it on the camera, but still a nice card. Ancient rules, I said, uh, I said if I pulled this I'd run it in Dark Magician, so I guess I have to now. And finally, Dragon Master Knight, now that is a card I've always wanted to own and never have, so, you know what, in all fairness this box wasn't actually that bad, uh, you know, definitely didn't make my money back. We pulled the Droll, which is the one hand trap that... I guess has the second most value because I think obviously Ash has the first and that's the one I kind of needed. But we've got a draw nonetheless. We've got some really awesome secrets. which can go over the secret res again because uh, those are definitely the, uh, the highlights of the set. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think of this set in the comments section down below and whether you'd like any of these cards to come to Dawnings. I guess I, I definitely want Return of the Dragon Lords to come to Dawnings. That's probably uh, one of the better cards we actually pulled from today. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you did enjoy this really bad pack opening. Again, apologies for the camera angles and for all the cutting and all this other stuff that happened. I uh, can't really uh, control what my uh, setup's going to be like. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next Duel Links video. Hopefully, it's going to be tomorrow for the DD Tower event. And uh, yeah, see you next time.